Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful scarf. This scarf is very easy to make. It's great for beginner, and I also have free written pattern. It's available on my blog, but if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy and my Ravelry store, and I will put all the links in description below. I hope you enjoy. Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, I use Line Brand Various Veil, and this is size uh, four medium weight yarn, and this is one hundred percent acrylic. And in each cake, it have two hundred seventy yards or two hundred forty-seven meter, and I use. Uh, about two and a half cakes. Okay, here is what I have left on the third cake. A little bit more than half, but yeah, about two and a half cake. And then here is the color, but the cup. You can use any yarn you like. Totally up to you, but uh, I recommend this yarn because all the color of yarn do the work. So you just don't. Do anything much, just crochet, and uh, the yarn will change color itself. It's very beautiful yarn. I love it. All right, and crochet hook, size five millimeters. Scissors and yarn needle. Before we start, I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit. And like I said, this pattern you can use any kind of yarn you like, but if you want your scarf turn out like mine, I recommend using this yarn, okay? So, this pattern is multiple of two chains, or you can chain an even number of chains. If you want smaller, you make less chain. If you want bigger, you make more chains. But make sure you make an even number of chains. And this is a uh, two row repeat, which is row two and row three. That's it. <laughs> you just repeat row 2 and 3, 2 and 3, 2 and 3, over and over until you have your desired length. Fairly easy. Here is my little swatch. I just want to show you. I think you can see it better because the solid color. And I also have step-by-step -step video tutorial how to make this stitch. It's called moss stitch. Some people call lining stitch. Okay, I just call moss stitch. If you haven't seen that video tutorial, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check it out. I use the same stitch for this scarf, exactly the same. Alright, and let's talk about the measurement here. So the measurement for this scarf, I make about 63 and a half inches long. And I make about 10 inches tall. If you want longer, you can add more rows. If you want shorter, you make less row. Like I said, it's two row repeat. Remember, row two and three, two and three. All right? And yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed. Good luck and let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with a slip knot. You can use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. Here's what I like to do. And then I'm gonna chain 52 chains. That is multiple of two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna keep making the chain until I have 52 chains. Make sure to make your chain loosely. I will be back. I have 52 chain here. And then for row one. We're gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. This is the first chain, this is the second chain. Okay, I'm gonna insert my hook into that second chain from the hook, but I always like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain here. You can insert your hook into uh, the normal chain here as well, whatever you prefer, but I just wanna tell you what I like to do. So yeah, this is second chain from the hook. I turn a little bit and I will see the little bump on the back of that second chain from the hook. I insert the hook there. 
Wobble loop. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. That is my first single crochet on row one. And then next, I'm gonna chain one. And then skip the next chain and make one single crochet into the next chain. I skip the next chain here. I insert the hook into the next chain here. Again, I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of that chain. Pull up a loop and make single crochet. So that gonna be the repeat chain one, skip next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. And then repeat that chain one, skip next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Just repeat that across, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna chain one, skip the next chain, insert the hook into the next chain and make single crochet. And repeat that again, chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Repeat that again, chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Repeat that, chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> okay, just repeat that, chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Like that. Let me show you here real quick. So this is the normal chain, right? And then you turn a little bit, you will see the little bump on the back of the chain. That's what I insert my hole into. Okay, see this little bump? Little bump. All right, whatever you prefer, again. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna keep repeating this so next, I'm gonna chain one, skip next chain, one single crochet into the next chain, and repeat that across. And I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row one. Okay, now I'm at the end of row one here. Here's what it looks like. You should end with a single crochet like that, okay? And then for row two, you're gonna chain one and turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And then the chain one never count at a stitch. And then you're gonna make one single crochet into the very first stitch here. Right here. I insert the hook there, pull up a loop and make single crochet. And then one single crochet into the one chain space here. Right here. So the hook, pull up a loop and make single crochet. And then you're gonna chain one and one single crochet into the next chain one space right here. Chain one first, okay? And then single crochet into the next one chain space. And then you're just gonna repeat that. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space, like that. So chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. If it's difficult to see, you can open it up a little bit so you can see where is the one chain space. Or, okay? <laughs> All right, chain one. One single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one. One single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one. One single crochet into the next one chain space. Like that. Repeat that till the end. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating that until I reach the end of row two here. And uh, I will be back when I have one stitch left at the end, okay? Okay, now I have one stitch left here. I just need to make one single crochet into the last stitch, okay? I already make uh, one single crochet into the last one chain space here, 
and next you don't need to chain one okay you just need to make one single crochet into the last stitch the last single crochet here so I insert the hook into the last stitch here bubble loop and make a single crochet like that here's what it looks like at the end of row two and then row three you're gonna chain one and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch here right here insert the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop and make single crochet and then we're gonna chain one and one single crochet into the one chain space here and then we're gonna repeat that we're gonna chain one and one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space like that okay so yeah next chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space here repeat that chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space just keep repeating that until the end so I chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space all right I'm gonna keep repeating that until I have two stitches left at the end and then I will be back okay now I have two stitches left at the end of row three here and then next I'm gonna chain one and then skip the next stitch and make one single crochet into the next stitch which is the last stitch okay so I chain one here I skip the next stitch I insert the hook into the next which is the last stitch and make a single crochet and here is the end of row three and that's it you just need to repeat row two and row three two and three two and three over and over if you don't remember how to do row two or row three you always can rewind the video and go watch it again okay no big deal <laughs> but I'm gonna show you one more time the one more repeat which is row 4 and row 5 so row 4 I gonna repeat row 2 row 5 I gonna repeat row 3 okay I gonna show you that just in case so row 4 I repeat row 2 I chain 1 and turn and make one single crochet into the first stitch here right here insert the hook there grab a loop and make single crochet and then single crochet into the one chain space right here and then chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space right here and repeat that you're gonna chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space I chain one I make one single crochet into the next one chain space I chain one and then I make one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space all right keep repeating that until the end If you cannot see, like I said, open it up a little bit so you can see where is the one chain space are. All right, keep repeating that. I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row four. Okay, I have one stitch left at the end of row four here. I just need to make one single crochet into that stitch, into the last stitch. Just repeat row two. So I insert the hook into the last stitch up a loop and make single crochet like that here's what it looks like at the end of row four 
and then row 5, like I said, we repeat row 3. So I chain 1 and turn. And then I'm going to make one single crochet into the first stitch here. And then I'm going to chain 1 and then make one single crochet into the one chain space. And then I'm just going to repeat that. Chain 1, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain 1, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Just repeat row 3. So I chain one here and make one single crochet into the next one chain space. Repeat that, chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Oops, like that. Just keep repeating that and I will meet you guys back in when I have two stitches left at the end of row 5. I have two stitches left at the end of row 5 here and you just need to repeat row 3. So next I chain 1, right? Remember? And then skip next stitch and make one single crochet into the next stitch which is the last stitch. So I chain one here, I skip the next, insert the hook into the next, which is the last stitch, and make the last single crochet. That's it, guy. Very easy, right? And yeah, next you're just gonna repeat row two and row three over and over. Two and three, two and three, two and three. For me, I gonna make 262 rows. That is about 63 and a half inches long. And if you want shorter, make less row. Or if you want taller, uh, longer, make more rows. And if you use different yarn, you just keep uh, check of your scarf how long you want it to be. Yeah, for me, I gonna make 262 rows and then I will be back when I'm at the end of 262. Good luck, take your time. I will be back soon. Okay, now I have a total of 262 rows. This is the end of 262. And then next, I cut the yarn. You don't need to leave that long tail, just enough to weaving the end. Okay, after I cut the yarn, I'm gonna pull the yarn out like that and then weave the end. Very easy. I bring my yarn needle here, insert the tail into my yarn needle and weave this in. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. I'm just gonna show a little bit. Just hiding the tail. Nothing fancy. Okay. Make sure it's secure and then trim this tail and you're done. Very beautiful, very easy as well. And it's very long here. <laughs> so this is what I have left on my third ball, third cake. About half of that. A little bit more than half, but not that much. And let me show you here. It's very long, as you can see. Very beautiful. Here's where I start. You're also going to weave this end as well. And that's it, and you're done. Very beautiful uh, pattern and um, the yarn, the yarn color. I love it so much. I hope you do too. And that's it. Congratulations, guys. I hope everyone enjoy making this beautiful scarf. If you enjoy making this scarf, please give this video a thumb up. And if you want to share your project with me, Please just text me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll put all the links in the description below. I would love to see everyone work. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Stay warm. Bye-bye.